What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. It has been a minute since I posted a video and since I've been posting regularly. I will catch you up in a video really, really soon talking a bit about what's been going on in my life recently. But today, I've got 10 outfits for the summer season for you guys styling different button-down shirts, whether they're short sleeve, long sleeve, patterned, solid, different colors, different textures. Obviously some outfit inspiration and I get to do that in partnership with one of my favorite brands out there right now, Abercrombie. This top that I'm wearing right now is from Abercrombie & Fitch as well. They're sponsoring today's video, so we'll dive into some of the absolutely gorgeous pieces that they have on their new arrival section right now. Honestly excited to talk about that, but without further ado, let's get started and take a look at outfit number one. So here we're starting out in a pair of Reese pants. And you'll see a bunch of Reese pants uh, today in this video. I absolutely love these. Up top we have from Mango Man a denim shirt that's super, super loose. Almost feels like a chambray shirt, but it is a denim shirt. I'm tying those Reese pants to sit a bit higher. They have a nice drawstring in there to adjust. Fixing up the shirt and then my brand new Black Sock and Weber. Brown leather tassel loafers, a bit chunky, absolutely love them. Then we have my Piaget Polo Essence Silver, and then this is entirely optional, but you can add a jacket on top here. This is a blue suede jacket from Reese as well. Obviously, if that's too hot already for where you are at, just ditch the jacket. The denim shirt by itself also works. I really like the combination of that nice taupe color in the pants, then the darker brown kind of in the same realm. And then contrasting that, we have the blues up top. Um, and then we're picking up on the brown a little bit with the frames, but then just the silver accents are once again found in the watch. Like I said, you can take this thing off, you can throw it over your shoulder, you can ditch it all together and roll up the sleeves, but a denim shirt is a classic, and if you're gonna go for one, go for a flowy one this season, it's gonna be a bit more on trend and a bit more updated. Now for outfit number two, we're starting out in a pair of shorts. These are cargo shorts from last season from Descendants of Thieves. They have something similar in store this year though. These are navy, and I'm pairing it with the ATOS script tank top, high quality tank top that we developed. Um, and then, haven't seen those in a long time, but the Air Force ones from Nike. I'm really excited to be having those back on my feet. Uh, some old socks that I wish were whiter, but I didn't have any at the office. And then the first Abercrombie piece, a beautiful printed short sleeve shirt in a large size. Picking up on those red accents with these shades from Carolina Lemke. My Piaget Polo S once more. Now here, the inspiration for the outfit is coming from the shirt itself. I wanted to wear it, but it is a little bit loud, so I wanted to take the colors from it, the blue in the shorts, the white in the socks, the sneakers in the tank top, and then the red a little bit in the lenses, and take a few solids to tone the shirt down while still taking inspiration for the colors. An absolutely gorgeous piece if you ask me. I like it, it's got a really nice summery feel. It's a linen shirt that just flows flows really, really nicely and can make a simple outfit like this really, really stand out. Now currently what's standing out to me most on the Abercrombie website are these knit tops. Whether they're button throughs like this one or classic polos, there's so, so many beautiful short sleeve shirts. You know what? Let's take a look at the website. So as soon as we head to the new arrivals in men's, you're seeing that first knit top gorgeous in the stripes. This is absolutely beautiful. A silky button up shirt. We'll take a close look at that in just a second. We have cam color shirts. We have this gorgeous printed shirt that I need to get. I'm gonna order a few more things and show you those next month with another video, but I'm loving the colors, a lot of neutrals, a lot of essentials, whether they're simple t-shirts, hoodies, a few graphic prints that are really fun, classic jeans, of course, Abercrombie still has those essentials for you. And like I said, I'm absolutely in love with this piece and um, obviously the shirt in there as well. I also live in the mesh shorts. I have several colors, at least five of them, and they're like my, my chill, at home, even out, go-to. Now, this cam color silky button-up shirt is just gorgeous. In the dark green, especially. Really nice color. A beautiful way to play with silk in a very casual way, so if you've never had really a silk piece in your wardrobe, this would be something. So make sure that you check out Abercrombie & Fitch's selection, especially what they've got right now. They've even got recommendations for you when it comes to different styling ideas. So make sure you check out the website. Links are down below for what I'm talking about today and for now let's head back to the summer shirts so this outfit we're starting out in another pair of Reese pants this time black this is gonna be an all-black look with this unique low tank top here just for a nice nighttime inspiration we've got the Ankari Flores penny loafers in black suede and to finish the look off we've got from ATOS the summer shirt the Helios summer shirt in black. And we've got some white buttons on there for a little bit of contrast. It is a short sleeve shirt, and that wouldn't necessarily be my first choice for an evening look, but since this fabric is so soft and silky, it just works. We're just accessorizing with a pair of black frames and yellow lenses from Carolina Lemke, as well as my Mont Blanc watch with a black leather strap. And just like that, we are done. It is a flowy, a bit more relaxed silhouette outfit. It is dressy, it is dressed up, but it's also very summer appropriate, even though you have the all black on, 
especially at night. Obviously, it's not gonna be much of an issue in terms of the sun that's gonna actually heat you up, but I really, really like this outfit. Simple as it is, it's a nice staple. For the next outfit, we're starting out in a pair of shorts. These are from Zara. ATOS tank top once more, another pair of white socks. Like I said, also not the whitest. And this look is gonna be experimental, I'm warning you now. This is an oversized shirt from The Gap, Oxford, stretchy, white and blue stripes. And now we're throwing on the black sock and Weber brown tassel loafers with the white socks, yes. And you can crucify me for this if you want to. I wanna play around with this, I wanna, I wanna do it. I'm inspired by like a lookbook of Amy Leondor throwing this over my shoulder the sweater from Banana Republic, cashmere sweater and tan. I've got my Longines on my wrist and the Furor shades on my face for a very preppy, very, like I said, experimental look. A Oxford, obviously, is a classic shirt for men. You can opt for a lighter Oxford fabric, something that's a bit more stretchy, which is gonna make it a lot more summer appropriate. In this case, unbuttoned, paired with a tank top and shorts, lovely. You don't have to do white socks with the loafers. I will repeat this one more time. You do not have to do the white socks with the loafers. I'm playing around with it. As always, I would recommend you continue experimenting and trying new things just for the sake of your own fashion boundaries. But I really like this look. A few brown accents with the very light core of the outfit. So that's what we got for outfit number four. Outfit number five is gonna be simple and monochromatic. We've got from Todd Snyder a pair of short shorts, uh, seersucker, two tones of dark green that we're picking up with this linen shirt from Mango, also dark green, a bit different, but works um, for this monochromatic approach. A pair of Zara slides in a tan suede, and then another pair of shades from Carolina Lemke in dark green. Like I said, monochromatic, I don't have dark green um, sandals, otherwise I probably would've opted for those as well, but I like the contrast in the shoes. It's a really nice summer outfit. Darker colors with the dark green, but nice light summer fabrics with the linen and the seersucker, and then obviously the shades to finish that look off. Really, really liking this. You know, a linen shirt is an absolute summer essential. You can opt for a nice natural color like this green to stand out a bit, not as simple as a navy black or white, but still very, very versatile. Then we're moving on to the third pair of Reese pants that you'll see for today. Uh, this time in a nice tan beige color. ATOS script tank top one more time, the Nike Air Force Ones one more time, and then a cropped flannel from John Elliott last year's. Not available, but I wanted to include this. Pairing it here with the Piaget Polo S and these Nautica shades, that combination you will see a few more times for, throughout the end of the video. But why I wanted to include this shirt specifically is because we don't normally think flannel for the summer, but this works because of the lighter colors, because of the lighter fabric choice. And then also I really wanted to include it because it's cut off and I think that's a really cool look. This is fairly sporty with the sneakers and the tank top untucked, but obviously we have those dressier pants, we have that shirt, and I think that's just a really nice balance between sporty and dressy. The light colors make it ultra summer appropriate. This is a great look for a brunch, uh, for running about town. You'll stay comfortable, you'll stay cool. Next up, uh, back in the taupe pants from Reese. Uh, one more time in the ATOS script tank. As you guys know, I live in white tank tops in the summer, and uh, since we created this one, I'm absolutely loving it. High quality, really nice fit, um, and obviously it's got that little script logo on the chest, which I think makes it a bit more special. Uh, on top of that, we've got from Todd Snyder a bowling shirt, a Cuban collar shirt. Uh, one more time, the Black Stockton Weber brown leather tassel loafers. Then we finish off with a couple more brown accents. We've got these Ray-Ban Wayfarers and the Longines watch on my wrist one more time. Definitely a bit more of a retro look here with the shirt open with the tank top underneath. This time loafers, no white socks. I think a lot of you will probably be thanking me for that right about now. But I like it, you know, with the white accents and then a few different brown tones for a very, you know, still elegant, but also relaxed look. It's a lot in the pants. The pants have, with the pleat, um, that, that very dressed up feel, but because they're a bit more roomy, they also are relaxed at the same time, and I'm relying on that vibe for a lot of these outfits just as a base. Then we are back in these Zara shorts in tan and cream. This shirt is from Zadro, an absolutely beautiful shirt, a beautiful choice for the summer, generally speaking. I'm gonna take a quick sip of coffee because that's leading into these sneakers, which are coffee stained. I messed them up and these are my old uh, 70s plus that were once cream colored. I stained them with coffee. Check out my so other social channels soon for how I did that. Throwing out a bucket hat from Urban Outfitters. And then we're accessorizing with the Nautica shades and the Piaget watch one more time as, as announced prior. But I love that shirt. It, it got a little longer than it once was, so I tucked it in. Normally I would wear it untucked because I think it has a bit more of a casual vibe. This also a fairly experimental look. The bucket hat you absolutely do not need. Um, I was just surprised that the colors were matching as well as they do. You know, just a little bit of sun protection is never a bad idea, but if you don't like the bucket hat, of course, get rid of it as I am doing here as well. And then other than that, we have the high tops with shorts, which I think is nice. The shorter 
shorter shorts, but a nice lighter combination. And key takeaway here is play around with very, very unique and different fabrics that you might not normally like with this um, Sandro shirt. And if you're not doing the bucket hat, might as well do a bit more of a statement. I wear choice like the Wayfarer from Ray-Ban. Second to last, and we're back in the Descendants of Thieves Navy cargo shorts that are a bit longer. This time we have from Zara, uh, Zara's Essential, like basic collection, this blue shirt that is absolutely gorgeous. We're back in the Zara slides as well. The, the feel of that shirt is just so silky, so smooth, and a really, really a vibe. That combination, again, Nautica Shades, Piaget Polo S, and that's simple, and that's it. You don't need a whole lot. You've got two tones of blue, you got a little bit of that tan in the shades as well as the, as the footwear, but because that shirt is so luxurious, and because the shorts have an interesting silhouette and a couple of pockets, you really, really don't need much more to be looking good. It's a lot about the choice of color, a lot about the choice of silhouette, and a lot about the choice of fabric. Not even necessarily an extravagant combination of pieces, right? Because in the summer, we're limited to some extent. But this shirt, absolutely would recommend for daytime as well as nighttime. A gorgeous transitioning choice, and they should still have it in store, even though this is from a year ago, because it is from the Basics collection. Now, the last one we're gonna keep Simple, uh, these are a pair of Oliver Brown swim shorts and they could work like that, but we're gonna make it a bit more interesting because they have that really nice paisley print, gorgeous colors, we can throw on these espadrille penny loafers together with the Zara shirt that uh, has a very cool feel, almost like a shirt jacket, but very lightweight. Then we have from Purse all these shades, and with that we have a very simple pool side or beach side outfit that also lends itself to hit up a lunch spot or a brunch spot before you actually get to where you're going or afterwards. Obviously, you can wear the shirt unbuttoned, you can button it a couple of times to make it a bit more ready to wear, but either which way, I, I really like this. Obviously, the highlight of this outfit is the swim shorts that are absolutely gorgeous. I cannot overemphasize this. Yes, Oliver Brown is crazy expensive, but they also make incredible swimsuits. That is already it for today, that's 10 outfits. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you got some inspiration for the summer. Links are gonna be down below for anything that I could find for you guys to shop. Obviously, make sure to check out Abercrombie. All the pieces that I mentioned, like I said, are gonna be linked down there. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, down below in the comment section. I'll see you guys soon with the next video, like I said, updating you a bit on what's been going on. So thank you guys for tuning in one last time. I'll see you soon with the next video. Until then, stay dapper, bye y'all.